Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video we are discussing problems and a method on how to find integrating factor for the non-exact differential equation. Okay, now friends, if the given differential equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to zero, is a homogeneous differential equation and which is a non-exact. If it is satisfying mx plus ny not is equal to zero, mx plus ny not is equal to zero, then integrating factor is one by mx plus ny. I repeat again, you see friends, if the given differential equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to zero, if you are finding dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x, if both are not equal, then what we are saying, which is a non-exact differential equation. If this non-exact differential equation is a homogeneous and mx plus ny is not is equal to zero, then the integrating factor is one by mx plus ny, which is rule two. Okay, how to find integrating factor? Rule one, we have a inspection method. Rule one, inspection method. Rule two, we have a homogeneous method. Okay, right. Now, friends, now I am giving uh, some problems. You try to find the integrating factor for the given problems. Okay. After getting the uh, integrating factors, you ping in the comment box. I will solve a few, a few more problems also. How to find integrating factor by using rule 2. Same method you have to do. Okay. Right. So, first, please uh, take a screenshot and uh, try to solve after watching this video. Friends, here given problem is find integrating factor of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Okay. Friends, you observe the given problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Yes or no? So, this is m, this is n. Now, we have to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, what we can say? Exact. So, for that reason, we are finding dou m by dou y. While differentiating m partially with respect to y, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. So, here x square is a constant, y derivative is 1. x square into 1 is x square minus 2x is a constant, y square derivative is 2y. So, 2 times of 2, 4y into x. Now, dou n by dou x. What is the dou n by dou x here you have? While differentiating n partially with respect to x, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. So, 3y is a constant, x square derivative what? 2x. So, 3 2s are 6x into y is a constant minus x cube derivative is 3x square. Now you observe friends, is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x? Is it? No. So what we can say? This is non-exact. So first what we did? The di given differential equation we are proved non-exact. Now verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous or not. Remember friends, when you can say the given differential equation is a homogeneous means m is a homogeneous function, n is a homogeneous function of same degree. In generally remember, if you want to prove the given function is a homogeneous function, in place of x we have to substitute kx, in place of y you have to substitute ky, then you have to get k to the power of n into f of x comma y. So in place of x you substitute k s, in place of y you substitute k y, you have to get k power n into f of x comma y, then you can see the function is a homogeneous function of degree n. Okay. Here you have a x square y. So I can get it from this k square, here k, k square into k means k cube, is it? Here 2 into, 2 is a constant, it's not an issue, x means k, y square means k square. So k cube is there. So from this entire term, what we can say the degree of m is, degree of m is what? 3. Now, n I am checking. x square is there. x square means I will get a k square, x square means k square is there. y means k y. So x cube I will have. Next year x cube means k cube. So n you can say degree is what? 3. So m and n have both are same degree. So you can say the given differential equation is a homogeneous. First condition what we have? Non-exact. Later we are proved homogeneous. Now verify friends mx plus ny value. If mx plus ny not is equal to 0 then integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny. Remember this. Okay. Now I am finding mx plus ny only. Okay. Now mx means multiply x here. So, x in x square into x means x cube y minus 2 x into x square y means x square y square plus 3 x square. For this, I am multiplying uh, y. So, y square minus x cube y. 
Now we observe is there any cancellation? Yes, you have a minus x cube y plus x cube y. Both are getting cancelled. This is 3 times of x square y square. This is 2 times of x square y square, but it is a negative sign. So you will uh, have x square y square which is 0 or non-zero non-zero term therefore what you can say the integrating factor for this integrating factor is 1 by x square y square that's it is it clear friends how to find out the integrating factor for the non-exact differential equation first we have to verify non-exact if it is a non-exact verify homogeneous if it is a homogeneous verify mx plus n y is a not is equal to 0. If m x plus n y not is equal to 0, then 1 by m x plus n y is an integrating factor. Okay, now? now I am going to solve this second problem. Second problem we have find integrating factor of x to the power of 4 plus y power 4 dx minus x y cube dy is equal to 0. Friends, you remember uh, in generally in the gate exam or any competitive exams, they will give find integrating factor or else find the general solution of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So this is a very useful friends. Remember, so the given problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. But in place of n you have a negative sign, not a positive, right? Now what we require to find? Dou m y dou y. Dou m y dou y, if you want to do m, you have to differentiate partially with respect to y. So we have to treat all other variables as a constant. Here. It is a sum of two terms. First term is containing x power 4, does not containing y term. So, constant. You have to read this is independent of y. So, it is a constant. Constant derivative with 0. Next, plus y power 4 derivative 4y cube. So, simply you can say dou m by dou y is 4y cube. Now, dou n by dou x. While differentiating n partially with respect to x, we have to read all other variables as a constant. Here, negative sign is there. Friends, write down negative sign y cube. Now, what about the x derivative with respect to x? 1. So from this what you can say dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x? No, because it is a 4 y cube, it is a minus y cube. So both are not equal. From this what you can say the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is exact. Is it exact? No, which is a non-exact. So you did a non-exact. Now you have to make it as an exact. If you want to make it as an exact, you have to multiply integrating factor. How to find integrating factor? First method we have inspection method. Friends, if you divide with x square y square or divide with x y or else uh, uh, rearranging forms, even though you cannot get inspection method. So go for rule 2. In the rule 2, we have to verify which is a homogeneous differential equation or not. How to verify homogeneous means in place of x, we have to, we have to substitute kx. In place of y, we have to substitute ky. Then you will get in the form of k power n into f of x comma y. Then you can say the given function is a homogeneous function. Here you have a m and n. So, if you want to say the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is a homogeneous. Okay. If you want to say this is a homogeneous function, first you have to prove m and n both have the same degree. Anyhow, I am replacing uh, x by kx. Then I will have k power 4 x power 4. So, k power 4 I can take, get the common. Here y power 4 is there friends. y power 4 means I can get k power 4 y power 4. So, from this what I can get the common? Entire m k power 4 is a common. Next here you have a x means k, y cube means k cube. So, k cube into k, k power 4. So, what you can say? m is a homogeneous function of degree 4. n is a homogeneous function of degree 4. 4. So, from this what you can say m and n are both have same degree. So, both have same degree means which is a homogeneous differential equation and this is non-exact. So, we have to verify m x plus n y value. If m x plus n y is not is equal to 0, then integrating factor is 1 by m x plus n y. You remember friends, it should be not is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then you cannot apply this method. Sir, if you have another method, of course we have another method, we can go for other also. But you cannot apply this rule too. Okay. Now, I am verifying mx plus ny. What to do? I have to multiply x for the m term and n for, uh, y for the n term. So, if I multiply x, then mx plus ny is I have. Uh, x power 4 into x means x power 5 plus y power 4x. So, x to the power of 5 plus y power 4 into x plus ny. I have to multiply y for this. So, this is a minus x y cube means x y to the power of 4. So, you observe friends, this is negative x y power 4, this is a positive x y power 4. So, both are getting cancelled. Then you will have x to the power of 5. So, is it equal to 0? No, this is a not equal to 0. So, m x plus n y is not equal to 0. First, it is 
non exact later it is homogeneous and mx plus n by not equal to 0 so what we can say integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny from the rule 2 so 1 by x to the power of 5 is an integrating factor for the given problem is it clear friends right now i am going for the third problem friends the given problem is find integrating factor of xy dx minus of x square plus 2y square dy is equal to 0 okay by the observation we can say the given problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 okay if the given differential equation is m dx plus n dy equal to 0 we have to verify which is an exact or not how we can verify exact means we have to find out dou m y dou y and dou n by dou x if dou m y dou y is equal to dou n by dou x we can say it is an exact okay first i am going to verify dou m y dou y while uh, differentiating m partially with respect to x we have to treat with respect to y we have to treat all other variables as a constant here y is there y derivative is 1 x is a constant only so x into 1 is x now dou n by dou x means uh, while differentiating n partially with respect to x we have to treat all other variables as a constant so negative sign is negative x square derivative is 2x here is there any x term no so it is independent of x so it will be a constant this derivative will be 0 right now is both are equal uh, dou m by dou y is uh, equal to dou n by dou x no so what we can say therefore m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is non exact so to get the solution we have to make it as an exact how we can make it as an exact means we have to find out the integrating factor to find the integrating factor we have a rule one rule one is inspection method but here you observe friends uh, can I separate the variables x square dy 2y if I divide with x square or divide with xy are you getting inspection method means no we are not getting so go for rule 2 what is the rule 2 means you have to verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous if it is a homogeneous and mx plus ny we have to verify if mx plus ny not is equal to 0 then the integrating factor is we have 1 by mx plus ny so First, I am going to verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous. How you can say the given function is a homogeneous means a function f of x comma y is said to be homogeneous function. If f of kx comma ky is equal to you have read k to the power of n into f of x comma y form. k power n into f of x comma y form. In this case, you can say the given function is a homogeneous function of degree n. Right. Uh, homogeneous function of degree n but here the, they are given differential equation how you can say the given differential equation is a homogeneous means here you have to prove both m and n are same homogeneous function of degree n means m and n have degree of homogeneous same now i am verifying uh, m is homogeneous function or not here you have a uh, x y so in place of x you write in k x in place of y k y so k into k k square you will get a common next you have a x square means k square here 2 y square also you will get a k square so from this to what you can get k square is a common so m is a homogeneous function of degree 2 and n is also from this to you can get k square is a common or not so you can get n is also homogeneous function of degree 2 therefore both have a same degree so you can say the given differential equation is a homogeneous so friends you see first it is non-exact later homogeneous so we have to verify mx plus ny value so i am verifying mx plus ny value mx plus ny means i have to multiply x for the m and multiply y for the n so if i multiply it, then i will have x square y x square y here plus ny square here you have a minus so i have written a plus into minus minus now multiply by x square plus 2y cube x square y plus 2y cube minus into plus minus 2y cube so here you observe friends x square y plus x square y minus means positive and negative terms of x square y will be getting cancelled then you will have minus 2y cube which is equal to 0 or not equal to 0 not is equal to 0 so what we can say the integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny so what is a uh, mx plus ny here we have minus 2y cube so minus 1 by 2y cube is an integrating factor i hope it is a clear for everyone so now you try to solve the remaining problems okay friends